Hello, and welcome to Transit Talk. I'm Nina. And I'm Jack. Today we'll have some very special guests, I believe from the heart of Sarda. We'll be speaking with Wayne Smith and Delano Means. So stay tuned. Welcome to Transit Talk. Today we have a very special guest, Delano Means, Dispatch Supervisor. How are you today, Delano? Excellent, so. Good, thank you. Thank you for joining us. It's good to be here. Um, so, Delano, can you tell me a little bit about your day to day in dispatch? My day to day is a little different from the rest of the dispatchers because I am responsible for the extra board, which essentially is. Uh, creating the schedule for the next day. Okay. So I generally do probably a little more than at the other dispatch at that time. Okay, okay, I get that. And um, can you tell me some of the responsibilities that you have in dispatch? Because um, a lot of people don't really know what dispatch does. Uh, dispatch does a little bit of everything. We. Um, try to assist the drivers and the passengers as much as we can. Um, we answer calls, um, get our buses moving out of the garage. Uh, we're responsible if they break down, get the proper people out there to keep the routes moving. Absolutely. So, so we, uh, you guys are kind of having hand in a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. When it comes to operations. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, what is, what is dispatch really to operations? What, what dispatch would be? would be the glue to operations. Everything runs through dispatch. Yeah. Um, we are connected to everyone, drivers, we have uh, upper management, maintenance, uh, the public. So yeah. we kind of are the glue to everything that holds it all together. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, dispatch isn't running smoothly. <laughs> it could be a bad day. It's so. going to be a rough day for everyone. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I thank you so much for joining us You're and welcome. coming on and showing that smile. You're welcome. So. It was a wonderful uh, time being here. Well, thank you. We'll have to have you come back again. Absolutely. Have thank you. you. You too. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Transit Talk. I'm Jack Thompson. I think a very special guest, uh, one that has a very important position here at SARTA. And could you tell us your name, please? Wayne Smith, Supervisor 14. And what is your position today at SARTA? I'm a transit supervisor, I'm a dispatcher to AM. And how long have you been with SARTA? I've been with SARTA to be 10 years coming up this year. I've been a supervisor for eight coming up this, at the end of this year as well. So evidently you weren't hired in as a supervisor and dispatcher. No. What did you do here before that? I drove actually. I drove for two years. Uh, when I was a driver, I drove all routes, fixed route pro line, kind of did it all. And uh, was the job posted, the dispatch job posted? Yes. You know, when I applied, it was just a normal supervisor job. I see. And you applied and had to go through another interview process in the old spill. <laughs> I went through two interviews actually to become a supervisor. I had the first one with everybody locally, and then I had the second with Kurt. Oh, so well, that's, it's not just the, hey, I want to be a supervisor. No, it was a serious interview. Yeah. So you think the two years driving helped you uh, with the requirements to become a dispatcher supervisor? Very much so. It helped me uh, kind of learn the route, so once the roll call was called out to me as a supervisor, I was pretty much aware of where I was going, so I've done all the routes. Okay. Wayne, I think our viewers would be interested if you could give us a kind of a reader's digest of the functions of the dispatch office. Okay. So pretty much a dispatch, we are going over, making sure that all of the fixed routes are running on time, all the pro lines uh, running on time as well, make sure everybody's getting picked up, any accidents, breakdowns, anything like that. The proper people are called to get us to the scene as fast as possible. Uh, we do 
daily schedules for our drivers. We do that the day before. We, uh, <laughs> I know that you, you said we do. Uh, when you're in dispatch, do you handle all that by yourself? Or is there more than one person in there? There's usually two people in there. We work together so we can tag team all the calls that do come in. That, I thought that sounded like an awful lot of work for one person. So. It's quite a bit. So do you still uh, uh, do road supervisory work even though your bar, your primary job is dispatch? On one occasion, we'll fill in and do some, uh, I'll do some road work if need be. I kind of don't have a problem doing anything. Do you have anything else you'd like to tell us about that position? Or, um, we're kind of the heartbeat of the company. We keep everything rolling whenever uh, anything happens it comes through dispatch. So we kind of have a hand in pretty much everything in the company. We kind of keep everything in motion. All the buses rolling, all the passengers picked up and hopefully happy. Well, it sounds like that office is the heart of this company. Uh, that's great. How, how do you like it here at Sarda? I love it here. This is probably my favorite job that I've had. It's very diverse. A lot of people are here to talk to and everybody makes the job very fun and interesting, entertaining. Well, I, I know I've had the uh, pleasure of working with you a couple of times and I enjoy working with you. You're, uh, even though you're very uh, job based, function based, you still know how to enjoy the job. So thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Wayne. I appreciate it. And thanks for coming to Transit Talk and telling us about your experiences here at Sarda. Thanks we for appreciate having me. it. Thanks for having me. So long. <laughs>